Twitter is great, but you already know that, right? I mean, our team did an amazing job and show you why you should care about Flutter in a series of short that you can find in our channel. Today, I'm going to show you how it's easy to write tests to our Flutter widgets. We will learn how to speed up your widget in a test environment, execute some actions, and assert its behaviors. Let's do that. When writing an app, you need to make sure that your code is working properly. For that, we write unit tests. In Flutter, we also need to make sure that our views are behaving as expected. And for that, we write widget tests. A widget testing is basically three steps. The first thing is to run our widget in a test environment. Then, we need to execute some actions that will change its state. And then, we need to assert the new view structure based on the changes we made at the state. For the simple example, we are going to use a to-do list app. The business rules are the following. As a user, I want to see a list of tasks. As a user, I want to remove a task from the list by tapping the task. As a user, I want to reorder list of tasks by dragging and dropping a task in the list. Our app uses mature design. It runs a simple list of items. Our task list is a stateless widget. It receives a list of string as a constructor argument and fire two events. One event when the user decides to remove a task and the other one is to re-render once we reorder the list using the drag and drop behavior. There is an important package we need to make sure that we are importing from. Flutter tests rely on the Flutter test package which is based in the Dart test package. Every test file should be wrapped in a main method. The first thing that we need to do is to declare a group of tests. A group of tests is a suite of tests that usually puts together all the tests for a particular widget. For each scenario, we have the test widget method. The test widget method will provide us our best friend in the world, the widget tester. This object allows us to pump up our widget, execute actions, and find elements inside it. So, for our first requirement, as a user, I want to see a list of tasks. It's pretty straightforward. First, we need to pump our widget. We need to pass in the constructor the list of strings that will be the task in the view. Then, using the widget tester, we need to find that particular text inside the widget. In the second requirement, as a user, I want to remove a task from the list. The major difference here is that now we need to pass a function as an argument to the task list constructor. In our test, that function needs to be a mock, so we can assert how many times it was called and its arguments. For that, we can leverage Mokito by extending the mock class in a new mock function. That way, we will be able to verify its calls. We can execute the top action in an item that we just found using the find method. Then, we just need to verify how many times the mock function was called and the arguments. Our last requirement is, as a user, I want to reorder the list of tasks. Our first action is to rely on Mokito and mock our own reorder function. At the end, we want to verify how many times it was called. Thankfully, the widget tester provides us a very straightforward approach to simulate the drag and drop behavior. We need to find the item we want to drag and start a gesture. Then, we need to go to the item that we want to drop after and end the gesture. During this process, we need to re-render a few times we need to simulate the exact amount of time the user will take to drag an item, move the item, and drop the item in another position. For that, the Flutter test package provides us some important constants. At the end, we can expect that our list of tasks has its order changed, and we can verify how many times the onReorder function was called. Finally, a Flutter test command we will execute our all green tests. Today we learned that the Flutter developer experience make our life easier and happier. We also learned how simple and straightforward it is to write and test 
your widget behavior. Here a question for you. How do we approach writing tests for Flutter apps? We would love to have some feedback in our comment section. And don't forget, subscribe to our channel to stay tuned on more content about Flutter.